Hey guys, Steve Blankert here. Hey, I thought I'd show you just a really short video uh, of a generator armature I'm working on. This is a generator for a 1935 Ford, and uh, I've already tested it on the growler, checked it for open shorts and grounds, and it worked. And it actually came out of a working generator. Uh, I then put it on the lathe, and I trued up the uh, commutator, took about 10 thousandths off of it to get it trued up. And now I'm undercutting the mica. And I thought I'd just show you this because there's very little information about this or people on the internet and i don't know if there's really any videos or anybody actually showing how it's done so there's a number of different types of machines that do this this is a um, a true cut actual mica undercutter and it's got a little tiny blade on the tip of the of, of this arbor here it's a little tiny circular saw it's about the size of a pencil eraser and i just work it down through each groove and I undercut the surface of the copper uh, 20 thousandths or so um, you just want to have have some clearance there because the mica is really hard and if it's at the same surface as the copper it'll wear out the brushes really quickly and the brushes will start skipping and also when you turn the commutator uh, on the lathe you get a little bit of because copper is so soft you get a little bit of of layover into the groove so the mica undercutter just cleans out those grooves and cuts it to an even depth so um, I want to show you that uh, just real quickly. I've got it lined up. You've got to rotate it for each cut. So I'm going to change hands here and I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to go in here. I have it, I have it set up to stop right where I want it. back out and now it's cleaned clean that one out so once I get done I'll blow this all out with electric contact cleaner take a little pick just make just clean out the grooves of any any copper debris because anything that's in there you don't want the two bars adjacent bars shorting together so uh, by undercutting the mica and then cleaning the slots out and then I'll put it back in the lathe and do a final polish on the commutator with some 400 grit and uh, then it'll be ready to reseal and uh, be ready to go back in the generator so anyway, just wanted to show you a quick video. I hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.